companies try to focus on too many things and they fail to optimize. So it's better to focus on one and fix that and see what breaks as a result. Uh, metrics are kind of like a squeeze toy. So you squeeze that toy and when you take the squeeze toy and squish it, and invariably something else bulges out and that's the next thing you got to fix. So optimizing for one metric at a time, getting that to where it needs to be and then moving on is a very good strategy because when you're a startup in particular, focus is much more important than knowing all the facts. One of the problems with optimization of any kind is something called local maxima. So uh, if I give you three wheels and say build me a stable vehicle, you'll invariably build a tricycle. That's optimization. But a human will go, hey, can I have a fourth wheel? Because then I can build a car. And so building a business with metrics is a combination of optimizing constantly to the most stable configuration, knowing what you've got, or the best metric, knowing what you've got, but also stepping back as a human and reflecting on how could I improve my business by changing something completely and testing that idea. They stopped being lean when they found what's called product market fit. Uh, this is one of the concepts in the whole lean startup movement. When you found a product the market needs and is aware that it needs and you've reached that channel. But the reality is you never stop having a lean mindset by which you've got, which I mean you've got to be in a constant cycle of building something, measuring something and learning something. And even big companies like Google that grew up in an era of the sort of agile iterative model are constantly testing every aspect of their business. So you stop being a lean company when you found product market fit, but you should never lose a lean mentality. <laughs> this is actually one of the most interesting things we've found. Uh, for example, churn rate on almost any website is about 2% a month. There's very little you can do to get better than that. And we've talked to people who are at 2% and just killing themselves trying to get better than that. And the reality is they should go work on something else. So there are some things that are normal. Obviously, shopping cart size varies depending on whether you're selling cars or books, for example. But some of those metrics like viral coefficient and churn rate and what percentage of people will click on something and how many of your users will come back every day, those are pretty standard across a particular vertical. And if you don't know that, you can do a lot of damage by working really hard to fix a metric that's already really good instead of focusing where you should be. Absolutely not. I think uh, every business needs to know where it's at and what it needs to do to get better. And if you can't measure where you are and how you get there, um, you're going to fail. The reality is that uh, people don't really think about the metrics that are driving their business and they don't think about them in a disciplined way. And I think in, today more than ever, you can use data to build a better business faster.